One player pulled a crazy stunt on live TV. Another nearly lost his life in football's craziest moments. These are the most dramatic moments in football history. And for Fernando Torres, one game got him a little sauced. He was the team's driving force and scored many goals in his career for Atletico Madrid. But something quite strange happened. Torres collapsed and lost consciousness after striking his head on the ground as he fell following an aerial clash with the Deportivo midfielder Alex Bergantinos in the 85th minute of the game. The striker was assisted for several minutes by doctors before being taken off on a stretcher and transferred to a hospital. Number 9 literally scared the hell out of me. It was a Champions League game. Barcelona against Juventus. After losing 3-0 in the first leg, the team failed to score in the first half of Wednesday's second leg. And to perfectly describe just how it has gone for Barca, all you need to see is Lionel Messi's rough collision with the floor. Yeah, that didn't look good. Messi got up though and credit to him. I would have needed a stretcher. Whenever it involves the head or neck, it's scary stuff. Thankfully, he's okay and it wasn't worse. See, Diego Maradona was probably the best thing that happened to football since sliced bread. I mean, he was a beast on the field and a drama king off the field. He was skilled, quick, smart, and sometimes crazy. Maradona was the first player to set the world record transfer fee twice. In 1982, when he transferred to Barcelona for 5 million pounds, and in 1984, when he moved to Napoli for a fee of 6.9 million pounds. But his antecedents didn't stop the long hand of the law from catching up with him and his addiction. Because in 1991 and 1994, Maradona was banned from football for taking cocaine. But fans couldn't care more as Maradona came back in full force holding opposition spellbound and rendering goalkeepers helpless. But all that was about to end because not long after, this happened. Football legend Diego Maradona has died. The 60-year-old Argentinian passed away on Wednesday from a heart attack. I can tell you for sure that things never remained the same after football lost Maradona. But number six literally scared the hell out of me. It was a preseason game between Ajax and Werder Bremen. Ajax was losing two goals to one, but they kept charging with the intention of leveling the goal until something strange happened in the 17th minute. Abdelak Nuri suddenly collapsed and was eventually airlifted to hospital in what Ajax described as a stable condition. Nuri was said to have suffered a cardiac arrhythmia and went into a coma for a pretty long time. I'm talking two years, eight months, and 19 days. Ajax reached a 6.4 million pound financial settlement with Nuri's family and even went on to retire his jersey number. But that didn't change the fact that everyone was hurt, considering that the team wasn't quick to provide medical attention, which could have probably prevented the brain damage. Now that's just unbelievable. But that's nothing compared to number five which occurred on the second day of Euro 2020 when a serious incident involved Denmark player Christian Eriksen. It was June 12, 2021, during Denmark's Euro 2020 opener against Finland at Parken Stadium. It was 42 minutes of play when, out of nowhere, with no other players near him, Eriksen stumbled and dropped to the ground, where he lay motionless, prompting immediate concern. A number of Denmark and Finland players, along with referee Anthony Taylor, noticed the severity of the situation and called for medical assistance. Apparently, Eriksson had suffered a cardiac arrest and had to be rushed to the hospital. At this point, nothing really mattered to the fans except Eriksson's safety, not even the game. We just want he to get better. Thank goodness his condition was stabilized in the hospital within an hour. Because a few days after the incident, Ericsson posted an appreciation message on Instagram to his fans. Now that's one tough near-death experience. But sometimes players don't almost die, they actually die. 
See, if football was the world's game, then Pele was the world's greatest players. For most fans, that's a statement of fact. Well over a thousand goals, a career of over 20 years, and three times a World Cup winner. But don't just look at statistics, look at the style. In fact, he was so good that he was nicknamed Orai, which is translated as the king. But in 2021, Pele was diagnosed with colon cancer and has been in and out of the hospital. A year later, the worst happened. Pele, the Brazilian football legend, widely regarded as the greatest player of all time, has died at the age of 82. He'd been in hospital for several weeks. Every player you can think of honored him in their own unique ways, with the likes of Neymar, Ronaldo, and Messi penning heartfelt messages of condolences to his mourning family. Now, Pele's death was hurtful. But this right here is unbelievable. The shock. Oh my god, a helicopter's just crashed. Next. On October 27, 2018, a Leonardo AW169 helicopter stopped at London Heliport to pick up three passengers and drop them off at Leicester City Football Club training ground. The pilot would later return for pickup after the Leicester game against West Ham United. The chopper was preparing to lift off from the pitch when, all of a sudden, it went into an uncontrollable spin, striking the ground and bursting into flames. It didn't take too long before it hit the news media, but this shocking revelation right here blew our minds. The BBC has been told the owner of Leicester City Football Club was on board the helicopter that crashed and burst into flames just minutes after taking off from the King Power Stadium last night. It's understood that Wichai Sriwatna Prabha had been flying home after watching his team play West Ham. When the Thousands of Leicester City fans gathered to pay tribute to the team's former owner, Wichai Siwatanaprapa, who, against all odds, saw them lift their first Premier League trophy. But while one legend died in a helicopter crash, another lost his life in a plane crash. See, Emiliano Sala was looking forward to life as a footballer with Cardiff City, and things couldn't have been any better. He had joined the then Premier League club in a 15 million pound transfer from French Liga one side, Nantes. Nah. But on the evening of January 2019, Sala was on board the Piper Malibu flying from Nantes in France to Wales. Hours later, no one had heard from Sala or the pilot, and the plane was declared missing. But a few hours later, there was some sort of explanation as to what had happened. The private plane had crashed into the English Channel, killing the striker and pilot David Ibbotson. Sadly, these were Salah's last words before the crash. Man, that's outright scary. But this, right here, is football's most heartbreaking moment. See, Atsu's situation is something nobody could have predicted. Cause at the time, Atsu was playing for the Turkish club Hatay Spor, making good money and lived with his wife and kids, and he was happier than he had ever been. But all these were about to change. It was February 6, 2023, and Atsu was home alone when all of a sudden, the building began to shake. And when he looked out the window, he realized that a massive earthquake had hit the Hatay province. Now to Turkey, reeling this morning from another deadly earthquake, just two weeks after the massive quake that killed tens of thousands. Marcus Homes were destroyed, thousands of lives were lost, and several others were severely injured. But there were no words on the whereabouts of the Ghanaian star. Reports even had it that Atsu had been rescued, but suffered a fatal injury. However, it didn't take too long for the real story to hit the airwaves. Death of their former winger Christian Atsu in the devastating earthquakes. Atsu's agent has today confirmed the sad news that he has died aged 31. After this tragedy took place, tributes poured in as teams honored the Ghanaian legend with a minute of silence. Atsu had been working on multiple foundations, and when he was being laid to rest, the children just couldn't hold back the tears. 
This shocked the entire world. But not like the 8 times Ronaldo shocked the world. I know you want to check it out, so what are you waiting for, buddy? Click this video right here.